All right, and our final topic here of getting to know Office 365, I'm going to do a quick little discussion point on Exchange Online and how we can now potentially access our email archives online through the Outlook web app of Office 365. Now, in order for this to work, there's a bit more configuration that needs to take place, and it's something that essentially needs to be turned on in the back end and allow us to give access to. I've opened up a, a quick little web page here. I went to bing.com, I typed in Office 365 Exchange Online, and it was one of the first links that opened up for me. Give it a try, pause the video really quick, open up a web browser, go out to bing.com, and try searching for Office 365 Exchange Online Archiving. Uh, it'll be one of the first links that comes up for you here. The idea in the past, previous to Office 365, we had OWA. We had our Outlook web access. We can get into our Outlook mailbox via web browser, via the OWA website. Now, in combination of Office 365 and Exchange Online, we now have the potential of accessing our archived emails online. Previous to Office 365 and Exchange Online, we weren't able to do that. The only way you were able to get to your archived emails is if you were sitting at your desktop and literally got into Outlook and opened up your, your archived emails through a PST file, through your data file. Now, this archived information can be hosted online through Exchange Online and give us access to those archived emails. Now, as you can see here through this website, it is an additional service that you can sign up for another monthly subscription through, through the online environment that Microsoft is developing and does continue to develop. If I just quickly scroll through this page, there are lots of features involved inside the archiving, security and reliability, as you can see here. Staying in control for discovery of content, finding those archived emails, uh, and various features to help us maintain this environment. Now, for you yourself, if you're more of an end user, uh, you're not going to have a whole lot of control over this. This is something that the Exchange Administrator, uh, the admin, would need to get into and activate for us. But you can get some more information online. Again, crack open your search engine. Take a look at Office 365 Exchange Online Archiving. Again, the big wonder here, we can now access our archived emails online. Just like Office 365, anywhere I got internet connection, I can get access to my content. All right, that's going to wrap up our session here for the getting to know Office 365. Hopefully you got a better understanding of what Office 365 is all about. Remember, it's your office on the go. Anywhere you got internet connection, we can get to our documents. You can get to your web apps. You can get to Outlook. You might be able to get into your online archiving if that's enabled for you. You've got link for your instant messaging and video conferencing, audio conferencing, sharing of your desktop. Office on the go gets you quick, easy access to the important documents and collaborating with others. All right. I appreciate you coming out, spending some time with me. Feel free. Run back through the videos. Take a take a Take the little pieces that you're looking for. Go back in and practice. Get some hands-on with this as well. Appreciate you coming out. Hopefully I get to talk with you again.